everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have an unboxing for you. Um, this one comes to us from Diamond Art Club. It has been a very hot minute since I have unboxed something from Diamond Art Club, but let me tell you, I saw this, and I had to have this, and I will tell you guys why here in a minute, but if you're new here, hi! Welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting content and some crafting, other crafting related content from time to time. And I would love if you would like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express, let's all be friends. If you've been here before, hi, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Um, to tell you that it has been a long time since I have made a Diamond Art Club purchase, um, I don't think I have any of the kits in the newer updated boxes. Uh, I do have an order that I placed before this that I have not unboxed for you guys yet. It is actually still sitting by my front door. Uh, this one I felt a kinship towards and felt like I had to open it ASAP and share it with you guys. Uh, this is Cursed by, do you guys call her Mrs. Buttered or Mrs. Butter D? Let me know down below. I've heard both. I don't know which one's accurate, but... This is the image. I am obsessed. It is a round kit. It has the size right here on the front. 55.6 by 70.7 70 70 centimeters. Um, I love this image. Um, my kiddo is obsessed with Halloween. And um, as am I. And I have... We've had skeleton... Pumpkin skeletons... This will be the, I think, third year we've had them. Second year we've had them? I'm not sure. We've had them for a while. And we have them outside of our house. And I am so excited, you guys. Like, I'm, like, totally taking this in as I'm showing you guys because I have not seen it. Um, with the new box and new insert. And <gasps> my first trading card! Woo! Look at that! That's so cool. Um... Very cool. I don't know why I thought they would be, like, a different material. They are just, like, cardboard. But not matte. Anyway, um, so we have this pumpkin skeleton. His name is Sid. And Sid, he lights up, he talks, he sat in the back seat with us for a while, and he, like, she wanted us to come and take him everywhere. So, fast forward to last year, I got a smaller one that she calls Baby Sid. Um, again, outside the front door. If I have a photo, I'll put it up here. If not, I'll take one. Um, and she loves these pumpkin skeletons. And, like, that's her thing right now. So, when I saw this, I had to get it. And I showed my daughter. If you guys don't know, I have a, a six-year-old. And she saw this and immediately went, Oh, my God, it's Mrs. Sid! So, I had to get it. So, now they've changed some things. I'm just... I'm opening this up myself so I can see it. You have this little packet here. It says, thank you for your purchase. And then inside, these are the new sticker sheets. Um, it has all the information. I will say I love that it now tells you the amount of colors on it because I don't remember if it did that last time. It might have. Um, and then here is your sticker sheet. I do keep this for a logbook. I will... I don't have to trim. I just take what I need, which is nice. But then I love here they have extra ones. So if you want to add in your own special drills, you can and label them as well. It is a very fall um, color palette. Words are hard. So this kit, we have two of the ABs, um, 132 and 141. I believe now, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe now they've gone back to... Instead of 141, which is a 5200 AB, they now, the newer ones, I believe, are moving forward, going to have the actual number and then the AB next to it. If I'm wrong, I don't know where I heard that. Um, and then we also have two Z ones here, which, if I'm not mistaken, are fairy dust rolls. We'll look at that here in a second. Um, 46 colors. So not a huge color palette. There's going to be a ton of color blocking, which is right up my alley. I'm very, very excited about that. I'm trying to figure out how to close this back up. Um, and I know people have their thoughts on, they wish that we still had certain things in the toolkits, they want this, they want that. I'm just going to tell you guys right now. If you complain about the free things that are given to you, they'll stop giving them to you for free. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. 
This is one of their new toolkits. It has the twist and pick applicator with the putty and multi-placer, uh, stackable tray with lid, and resealable baggies. So if you did not know, the newer kits come with these pens here. They are preloaded, excuse me, <clears throat> with um, putty. And so you just twist and it comes out the top and it has a multi-placer. Um, I have enough pink wax in my stash to last me for the rest of my life. Um, maybe that's a little bit of an overstatement. Here is the bag of baggies, but they do not come with the hearts of wax anymore. Oh, yes, they do. Oh my God. I am so out of the loop, you guys. Um, and here is, if you want to swap out your tips, there is some wax and then there is some additional of the putty. You guys, I am dropping the ball on this here unboxing so and this is one of their new trays i know people really love these new trays they're really nice they are stackable so you can see here they have a lip so if you have another one you can put it on top um so thanks diamond art club i love it i for one am not a putty person but i will absolutely give it a shot um and see how it works out for me so here is the insert of the tray you guys i am beyond excited for this and i am stalling majorly it feels like but i hope that you guys are all well uh <laughs> hopefully by the time this goes up you guys will have like heard back from me and not just been like oh wow Lindsay just came back out of nowhere with a bunch of unboxings and we have no idea why she was gone for a couple months um let's see we got our drills and again they are the color palette is what you would kind of expect for like a Halloween image. Um, these are really nice though. Oh, I can't wait. And then we have our canvas. I'm going to roll her backwards so that it lays flat. And I'm not going to look at it because I'm going to look at it with you guys. I'm so excited. Halloween is my favorite. What is your favorite holiday? Let me know down below. I'm very, very interested. Um, I, we have not decided on what we're going as. Um, this also is going to be my first kit with the perforated cover and this one I can see it from here has the updated perforated cover where it has the dashes on it um I'm not somebody who sections my canvas I do what I call free range diamond painting oh my god I'm like taking the camera with me sorry guys so okay all right get out of here random toolkit um she's so cute <laughs> I love her Oh my gosh, you guys, I love her. There feels like, and it might just be because of the new cover, but it feels like there's like this powderiness on the top. Um, so I will, if I use the perforation as it is, I will let you guys know. I probably won't just because that's not how I work, but like, look at her. She is gorgeous. I love this and I love like the reflection in the mirror. It's, oh my God. <laughs> I love this. Oh, that got stuck under the plastic. Okay, we're going to move you out of the way so I don't, you know, stick anything else to the plastic. Let's shift her down a little bit so you guys can see. So you have the back of her hat, the hair. Her cauldron is down here with the eyeball on it. If I have to guess, that's AB. It sure is. Um, oh, she's so cute, you guys. I cannot wait. I love the crystals on the countertop, the skull, the little voodoo doll here in the corner. Have some plants on this side. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. If you guys have never worked on a Diamond Art Club kit, they are all legally licensed artwork. Um, they have seared and scalloped edges to help prevent it from fraying. You can see it here. All of their social media is on the bottom. Um, they do have two... Uh, legends, one in the bottom right, one in the top left. So if you're working on your canvas from either direction, you'll be able to see it. Um, trying to see. Interesting. I'm very intrigued by the... If you are somebody who has, like, very strong opinions one way or the other on, um, the perforated, let me know. You don't have to leave them in the comments. If you want to, like, reach out to me on Instagram, let me know. I'm very curious, um... Because I know there are some people who, like, truly measure out each square that they're going to work on and tape it off. And I don't do that at all. I literally just peel and go. Um, but I've been in the Diamond Art Club VIP group. So I've seen people 
talking about the things that they liked and disliked about it and all that. I'm really, really excited. Let's check the sticky on this. She's super cute. Oh, it's much thicker now. Yep, nice and sticky. Oh, I love this. Um, let's check these symbols here. Is that an asterisk? Yes. Okay, I was like, what is that? So there are some light symbols on some like mid-tone backgrounds, as well as some light symbols on some dark backgrounds. Um, the symbol field looks, the drill field looks nice and clear, which is always good. Uh, this, I have a list of kits that I want to work on. Obviously, I need to not be injured and feel better to do that. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, hopefully the whip and chat that I keep referencing is out before this, but um, you know. She's beautiful. Did you guys pick her up? Let me know. I Is that normal? That It's very strange. Never had that on any of the other kits. It could just be this kit. Um, or it could just be because I'm not used to the way Diamond Art Club packages their stuff anymore. But this is beautiful. Um, I'm not going to pull out the drills. Uh, there's an orange AB, a white AB, and then two shimmers. One is going to be red. The other is going to be a yellow tone. I can see that based off of the DMC codes. Um, and I can see them a little bit in here. Like I can see the orange AB right there. If you don't know what an AB is, an AB is an Aurora Borealis. It is a regular drill that has an extra shiny, like, holographic coating that gets put on top of the drill. Um... And it reflects the colors around it. They flip slightly different than the color of the drill itself. So like a black 310 drill with an AB coating is actually more like mermaid-esque. Because it, it flips blue and green and purple. Um, and sometimes the coating makes it a little bit more difficult to work with compared to a regular drill. Um, but then you have your shimmer drills, which these are fairy dust drills, and they have the mica powder, the glitter on the inside of the drill mixed in with the resin, so it does not come off into your wax or your putty or anything like that. Uh, so I'm very, very excited. Those are beautiful drills. I am loving working with them. I've worked with them in a couple other kits um, outside of Diamond Art Club, and so I'm really excited. And I got my first trading card, and... Uh, so cute. I'm going to put this on my wall. I will 100% lose this because I'm that kind of person. But I think that's all I got for you guys. I don't want to ramble too long. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, leave them down below. For Halloween, are you guys Team Pumpkin or Team Skeleton? Let me know. Use your favorite emoji of those to let me know. Um, but I'm going to get out of here. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. And I record my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping um, or in school. But thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>